about to head over to Antigua, Guatemala. It's Friday right now here. But it's not just any Friday, it's a good Friday. And in Antigua, Guatemala, they have a bunch of processions for Easter. So we're gonna go check that out. But first I have to hop into my Uber. So I'm headed over to the gas station over there right now. And we'll hop into the Uber. It's about an hour away right now with the traffic here in Guatemala. And we should end up there hopefully before sunset. And I can show you around the city and we can explore what they do for, uh, for Easter, specifically for Good Friday here in Guatemala. Now, I am excited because Antigua, Guatemala is one of the main spots. One of the main spots or one of the biggest, uh, it's got one of the biggest celebrations or processions for Easter, for Good Friday in the entire world. So we're gonna go check that out firsthand and see what it's like. I'll see you there. Okay, I think I see my Uber. Hola, para Alex, sí. ¿Cómo? Como tú quieras. Ah, uh, aquí o allá? Como tú quieras. Ah, uh, bueno, aquí no no hay una ah, puerta aquí. ¿Eh? Sí. Ah, eh, negro. Ah, sí, sí, lo veo. Yeah. Okay. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Tú qué tal? Bueno, bueno. Oh, perdón. ¿Has escuchado una historia de como robar, asalto en los taxis? Sí. ¿En serio? Eh, le ha pasado a un mi familiar, a una mi tía. Wow, ok. Ella iba de viaje, vino acá a la, a la ciudad por comprar mercadería, Ajá. Eh, pagó un taxi, el taxi lo llevó a un lugar muy, muy diferente y muy, muy ah. solitario. Ok, wow. Entonces wow. le dijo, bueno, déjame aquí tus pertenencias y te vas. Wow. Y la dejaron ahí. Sí, qué malo. Y no, no, hay, no hay manera de como saber quién es, nada no, de eso. Sí, como Uber. Es bastante difícil. Wow. No es como en Uber que tú, tú sabes que ellos están registrados legalmente. Sí. Ahora ellos no. Sí, sí, sí. Wow. Entonces por eso no se le confía mucho a los taxis. Sí, sí. ¿Estás viviendo aquí? Sí, yo eh, estoy en un... ¿Sabes qué es un Airbnb? Es, es un uh, alojamiento que no es un hotel, ah, sino okay. que al, el dueño lo alquila, es su lugar, lo alquila. Ah, ya, ya. Es como una casa, es como mejor una así. Casa, sí, sí. Hay ah, más okay. de 20 idiomas mayas. Ah, ok. Ajá. Quiché y Cachiquel son más populares. Ah, ok. Ajá. Bon en Cobán se habla Pocopchín. 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 Ah, ok. Es un idioma bastante diferente, ah, okay. muy complicado al, al pronunciar. Y el que tú hablas se dice como eh, el idioma, ¿cómo se llama? Cap chiquel. Cap, cap chiquel. Cap chiquel. Cap chiquel. Cap chiquel. Ah, okay. chiquel. ¿Cómo se dice hola? ¿Cómo estás? Shahir eh, Utsawatch es decir buenas tardes, ¿qué tal estás? Uf, ok, es ah, <laughs> muy difícil, muy diferente. Diferente, sí. sí. ¿En la escuela qué se habla? En la escuela, eh, ponle, si es en el centro del pueblo, español. Okay. Ahora si es en las aldeas más eh, lejanas, Cachiquel. Ah, okay, Ajá. Okay. ok, we made it to Antigua, Guatemala. Fortunately, it's almost sunset, but as you can tell, super crowded. I think we're at the Parque Central here. We got the beautiful Iglesia de la Merced. This is where people used to go, to, well, probably still go, to pray before the uh, big earthquake of Antigua, Guatemala, which is the reason why the city moved from being the capital to moving over to Guatemala City. Now, there's a bunch of food stands here. And I have to go to one of these to get some water. Let's see if any of them have some, have some water, because I'm dehydrated as fuck. And then I'll show you around what they have here. This is Good Friday, like I said, so. They've got a lot of celebrations and processions. It's hard to make your way around. All right, we gotta find something here with water. Looks like they're all selling either food or treats they made. Hola, ustedes venden agua. Sí. Okay, solo agua pura, sí. No, solo la tienda. ¿Qué, ¿Qué venden? ¿Cuál Solo agua? gaseosa, naranjada, roja y uva. 
Ah, nar una jugo de naranja, ¿sí? No. Allá jugo de naranja, sí. Bueno, quiero comprar algo de ustedes. Una agua, eso, eso, sí. ¿Cuánto es? Cinco, ok. Dos. Gracias. Muy bien. Gracias. Gracias. It's not water, but it's close enough. So that what you see there are the carpets that they make for uh, Semana Santa here in Guatemala, which essentially are carpets that they make with sawdust and they decorate. And then when the processions come through, that gets ruined. And it's symbolic of the temporariness of life and death. Now, very crowded here. Now what you see here is the Santa Catalina Arch which is built to transport nuns well, not transport nuns but this is a way that uh, nuns were able to walk through the city without being seen by the public initially nuns had to uh, walk through these streets here this is the main street where there were a bunch of merchants people selling stuff and because nuns can't be seen by anyone they had to close the street off and everybody got pissed off because all the merchants lost their sales nobody was able to sell anything and as a result they built this arch for the nuns to be able to go for a walk now you're probably wondering why do they have to build an arch for nuns to go on a walk why couldn't they just walk outside the nuns didn't really have much freedom We should go this way. There's less people, um, and there seems to be some something going on. The nuns didn't have much freedom. They had to do their chores, eat what they were ordered to eat, and they only had about an hour a day to go for a walk out in public. And like I said, no one was able to see them, or no one was allowed to see them. Now, I think I'm walking into one of the Easter processions here. I hope in the background you can see the mountains. This city is surrounded by volcanoes and it was chosen as the capital by, I don't remember his name, but he was one of the conquistadores from Spain. They specifically chose this city because it's very fertile, it rains often here, so the crops grow, the, uh, there's a lot of coffee growth, all sorts of crops, and, and there's volcanoes surrounding the city, so it's difficult to attack. very European. If, if you didn't know I was in Guatemala, you'd probably think that I'm in Europe. This is the, uh, I think it's called Baroque architecture from Rome, Italy. Here they've got cobblestone streets, as you can tell. Anyways, enough history, but let's see what we've got for sale here. Hola. ¿Qué venden aquí? Ah, okay. Es jugo o solo para comer? Hay jugo de naranja también. Bueno, puedo uh, eso, una de naranja. Jugo, de jugo, de jugo, sí. ¿De grande, pequeño, amigo? De pequeño, de, de 15. Vale, ahorita se la van a preparar. Okay, gracias. ¿Y aquí ahora va a ser una procesión o hay mucha gente? Eh, la procesión pasa un aproximado de 11. Ah, 11, sí. ok, ok. Y el otro pasa a la 1 de la mañana. Oh, wow. Okay. Sí, aquí en el parque. Y hay mucha gente a la 1. Así como está ahorita. Wow. Hasta peor está. Ah, ok, bueno. So there's going to be another procession here at uh, 11 p.m. And at uh, 1 a.m. And apparently it's this full. Even at 1 a.m., even at midnight, people are here. Hey, muchas gracias. Y son 15. Sí, claro. Okay. Muchas gracias. Chao, chao. Okay, let's give this a try. Natural orange juice. Tastes like orange, as you'd probably expect.
Alright, I think I'll end this video here in the crowded Central Park. I have no clue how hectic this video was. I feel like it was all over the place. Hopefully you got a little bit of a background on this city. And, uh...